So PPA are one of our major customers in Indonesia. They're based in Southern Kalimantan. They have a, an issue with mud because of the significant inflows of water they're getting through rainfall in that area, and we're helping them deal with that problem. At a meeting, PPA brought up the subject and asked us for an opinion on what could be done. What the problem is with the mud is it flows into the mining face. To continue to mine, they actually need to remove that mud via either a trucking method or a pumping method. And just coincidentally, we were uh, producing the Mudflow 200 and uh, we showed them what we had and how they could use it in their application. This Mudflow 200 submersible dredge pump uh, that we supply to PPI is the first uh, in the world. The solution was built here in the Coolum facility, which houses our DCO, so our Design Centre of Origin. PPA were heavily involved in how it operated, where it could operate, and what ranges it could actually operate in. So we had constant input from them. In the initial stages, our multi-flow team uh, in Indonesia worked very closely with PPA to determine what their targets were. And working closely with the mine planners, we got a great understanding of exactly what their elevations and pumping distances were. Their parameters of what they were trying to achieve fitted perfectly to what the Mudflow 200 was capable of. Understanding their customer's application and the operations of dredging, we built the Mudflow 200 with the winching system so that we could manoeuvre the pump set across dams. Also, we've fitted skid runners so that launching is done with conventional equipment such as bulldozers. Before we have the Mudflow submersible dredge pump, we have to excavate and we have to transport from the mud area to our dumping point. Conventional method using trucks and excavating is very costly. With uh, mud flow, we offer a more efficient way just to use one machine. With the pumping method, we operate continuously in average 20 hours per day. This is very uh, environment friendly. We just move the mud along the piping system, so it's very safe and very clean. The solution we provided to PPA was the Mudflow 200 in connection by the pipelines with the MF125 slurry booster. That's another multi-flow product. When I first saw the Mudflow 200 go through the, the, the commissioning phases, I was pretty impressed with the volume of mud that was coming out of the unit. After we connected through to the booster system, the actual flow rate was higher than the customer's expectations. In the maximum capacity, uh, Mudflow 200 uh, could uh, produce around uh, 400 meter cubic uh, per hour uh, of mud. We estimate that the cost savings will be about 20 cents per cubic meter of mud pumped versus excavating. We've done a cost payback model and it looks as though it will pay itself back in three months with the project running a span of about nine months. Mudflow 200, I think we could save it's around 35 to until 40 percent of our cost. 50% time reducing working together with the wind mineral. We are very, very, very satisfied. They just not only sell the product, but they give us better value in after sales.